Welcome to my channel, I'm the Home Yosh, and today I will be diving into retargeting animation blueprints in Unreal Engine. For this tutorial, I will be working with version 5.3, but feel free to use any version you're comfortable following along with. In this session, I will be using characters from Character Creator and iClone 8. Don't worry if you don't have the software, I'll include links to a free trial in the description below. These tools are incredibly powerful for generating characters and animations. If you're in need of custom characters or animations, feel free to reach out to me directly. My email will be in the description. Today's focus will be on characters, animations, skeletal mesh, blueprints, and bones. Now, if you're new to Unreal Engine and looking for beginner-friendly content, check out my other videos by clicking the links above. Now, let's get started. So if you go to your Epic or a game browser, your Unreal Engine launcher, um, go to your marketplace under the Unreal Engine, and you will look for the animation starter pack. Um, it's usually for free. Um, if you have it, just go to your libraries and scroll down to uh, Vault, put in the animation and you'll find your animation started. And you want to add that to your project after you download it. And you download it to your project. Okay, so it is UE4, but we're gonna go ahead and retarget that to UB5. Okay, how to retarget your animations to UB4 to UE5. Now this animation starter pack is UE4 and you're using UE5. So what you want to do is select just the animations. What I do is I select one, I hold shift and select the other, skip, which you hold control shift and skip the blend spaces. We're going to hit this one and then we're going to go all the way down. Okay, we're right before the other blend space, just shift click this. Make, just make sure you click everything that is an animation. Do not click the montages or the blend spaces. And then you're gonna go ahead and right click and retarget animations, duplicate and retarget animation blueprints. So right above, you wanna go to UE4 Manny to UE5 Manny. Now UE5, you're using Manny because Manny is the parent, it's the adults, okay? Um, the, the Quinn is a child, so that's why we're gonna use Manny. So if you wanna use the other skeleton, you can use it off of this, basically. So, all right, so we got that UE, UE4 to UE5. You change your destination where you want to. And then you just hit the retarget, and then that's how you retarget it from UE4 to UE5. So now it's updated. So let's go ahead and bring in our new skeletal mesh. Open up my characters. Go on over the colonist. And go ahead and drag him in. And drag my SKM colonist. Okay, now that I dragged him in, um, it's going to ask me a couple questions here. So what I'm going to use, since I'm using the character creator, I'm going to make sure I import morph targets, um, mesh bones, uh, use to ref pose. Um, I'm going to have all these, uh, but I'm going to leave skeleton. I'm going to leave it alone. So it's just like importing, it's going to do it itself. And I'm also going to do um, the textures and everything it's going to just going to make its own textures so i'm going to leave it just like that and I'm just going to hit the import button and it, it imported everything here so i'd like to clean this up i'm just going to go through this video i'm just going to keep it the way it is it's a mess but i like to make folders and and organize it but for this video i'm just going to leave it alone so this is our guy right here skm calling us my characters here now I'm going to my original which you would want to look for is your third person character blueprint animation blueprints but since I already have those I, I have those made as heroes right? no, not those. Animation. 
This is my ABP animation blueprints. Uh, it would be third person character for you. Um, and you can find that under your characters. That would be under your... Go under mannequins if you're using uh, Unreal Engine 5. And look under animations. And there's your main blueprints right there. But I'm going off of... blueprints that I already have created just for this video. So pull this back up. So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy it. Find empty space here. I'm going to drop it in. And here's my copy right here. So I'm going to drag this into Colonus animations here that I have. I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to pull up my animations here, and now I'm going to go ahead and retarget, okay, duplicate and retarget animation assets and blueprints. Now, since I already have these retargeted to my UE5 mannequin, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select UE5 to UE4, this mannequin to our new colonist. So I'm going from UV5 to the colonist and then I just hit the retarget. But I want to change the folder destination and I'm going to go to that animation under my characters, under my iClone, my colonist that I created so it's not a big old mess. And I'm going to go ahead and hit retarget. Okay, so now this has just retargeted everything to the blueprint. A way to check that it works, let me go ahead and bring my blueprints. Let me close this one. Drag my blueprints in here. And the same here. Just my content browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to you would go to your third person character under your third person blueprints here. But I'm going under my... So this would be my third person blueprint, but I changed it to my hero character. So now I want to make sure that if I change that to the colonist that we just brought in, and as you can see, it's still using the same animations because they're already retargeted. But now if I go ahead and change the animations to the Hero 2 that we retargeted, you can see that it uses those animations. So if I go ahead and hit play, it would be the colonist now using the animations. Now, if you go to your Epic store, um, your marketplace, I'm going to go to my library. Uh, my weapons I already have it downloaded. Um, what you are looking for is the uh, military weapons start. That will be in the uh, marketplace. Um, it's free. So you'll get uh, seven different military weapons, has animations, fires, and has FX as well. Um, so you just add that to project and I'll go ahead and download it to your folder. Once that's downloaded, you go to your... Let's move this up a little bit. Um, you want to find your skeletal mesh, and you just got the character that you just created, or you can go to... Um, if you're looking at the if you're using the third person. Um, you go to characters, um, just go to mannequins, and under meshes, you will see the uh, third person skeletal mesh right here. So it's mannequin skeletal mesh. Um, I'm using the uh, character that I already brought in, and I'm looking for the right hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a socket. So I'm going to add a socket. I'm going to right click on the right bone, right hand bone. And as you can see, there's my socket. So I'm just going to rename this socket. 
just gonna make sure that the it stays as right um, hand right, but I want to do uh, underscore G U N. It's easier to find. You know what a gun is on the skeleton. So now that I have that, I want to add preview asset. So as you can see, there's our assault rifle that you just downloaded. Assault rifle B skeleton match. And let's go ahead. Now what I want to do is, since we have our animations, I want to preview um, a different animation. So um, let's go upper aim. So we go back to our gun. And I'm going to pause this. Okay, don't worry about the um, the left hand. We can take care of that later. I just want to get this squared away. On the right hand. Now, what I want to do, it's a little bit big, so I'm going to just put this down to 0.9 on my mesh. Everything looks good here. Go ahead and bring this down a little bit. There. It's a little off, but it's going to be good for this tutorial. Bring it up actually way there. So that looks good right now. We're gonna just for right now. We can spread it away later. So we go ahead and save that. So now if you go under your third person, if you're using the third person, it would be under your blueprints. You want your uh, character mesh, which mine's under my characters. Um, I have it under my heroes. So, set this back to SKM, Hero 2. Viewport. I'm going to click on my weapon and I'm going to go under and as you can see there is my gun socket. Make sure these are all zeroed out. Compile and save. Now if you hit play, it's not in that view. Now you can see that he is holding the gun. I can go ahead and fix the problem with the left hand. So I can go under the uh, colonist animations and he's holding the rifle. So what you want to do is you go under your skeleton tree here and you want to go to the left hand and we can just move this around a little bit just make sure it's centered right and then i want to go to the upper and the lower arm bring this down just a tad Make sure it's where you need it to be. Now I can go to his hand. Just drop that down a little bit, just play with it. And the one thing I do if I just pause this be easier. I mean, that's good for the tutorial. You can just play with it and get it how you want. Just move things around. I also want to move the gun. I'm going to type in gun here. I'm going to select my gun. And I'm going to move it. Rotate it a little bit. There you go. As you hit play, everything's fine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back and I'm going to select everything so it doesn't go back. It stays like that. 
small ship. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add bone transform to addition layers. So I'm going to go ahead and key that. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. So now if we go into our heroes, you can see that... Oops, I messed that up. Back. Let's go ahead and compile that. Let's play it. Alright. So now his animations. That's how you fix your animations if you have a problem with the bones. So um, that's it for now. I'll be making other videos. I will be putting more videos out about Character Creator and iClone 8. It's a really powerful tool as you can see. Um, the characters look great. I, I, as you can see, the uh, bottom, you can fix the, the mesh as far as his pants overlapping uh, his, his shoes. But uh, for now, yeah, that's it. Um, keep creating until next time.